And each and every year we do this, and each, each and every year we're excited about talking to this young man that's in his 12th season over in Blue Devil Nation, leaving the, the Duke University football team, man. And he's 12 years. a special yeah. person in our heart because not, not only he's a great coach, but where he's from. And we love to talk to him. He's give it up. Coach David Cutcliffe. What's up, Coach? How you doing, my friend? I, I love it. You guys know to put Melvin Camp on. <laughs> we already my know, friends. Coach. friends, thank you. <laughs> we already know, Coach. We know what you like. We know what you like. Yeah, thank you. Well, Coach, we appreciate you uh, spending a little time with us today. There's a lot going on. It's a great time of year. I know you're busy. So we'll get right on it, man. A lot of things going on. You, you're pressing right now. Uh, there's a big uh, weekend coming up, August 17th. We call it the Meet the Blue Devils uh, Day and Movie Night, which is a little different. Talk about that if you will, Coach. Yeah, that's a great opportunity. 4.30 to 6.30, we will be in the indoor greeting fans, pictures, uh, all the players available, all the staff. Children have a great time. And we mm. added this thinking this might be something special. I'm praying the weather cooperates, but mm-hmm. we're going to let everybody go into the stadium and when you talk about giant screen, remember the Titans yes. on mm. the Jumbotron. Wow. I was in there last night you know, looking cool. at what it's going to look like. Yeah, It's going to be amazing. So come have some fun with us. That's outstanding. We're talking with head football coach David Cutcliffe in his 12th season, as we just mentioned, coming up this, uh, this year. Coach, a lot of people excited about the team, excited about this season come, upcoming. What's probably one of the things that if you wanted to talk to fans and people that are listening, they should be excited about the most? Well, I think that people will right now go in underestimating Quentin Harris. Mm-hmm. Okay. Quentin has got a great arm. Mm-hmm. He, I mean, he throws a great ball. Um, people are going to think, well, they're going to run the ball more with Quentin. He can throw the football. Mm-hmm. And what I've seen – over the last three days is what you want to see. It, it's um, with the added reps. Now he's the starter. Uh, it's it's been pretty spectacular on the practice field. We obviously have to take it to the game field. Yes, and there's going to be a lot of young talent at receiver and skill positions on offense. And then I think the thing that has to absolutely excite people the most. This is the most gifted defense front and back end that we've had and the deepest. Well, I'll stand coach. You can have six home games coming up this season, um, including Notre Dame, Miami, Pittsburgh, Georgia Tech, Syracuse, and North Carolina A&T State University. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But with these home games coming up, you guys got a t- pretty tough schedule. Uh, how are you getting the guys geared up for what it's actually going to be like? Well, you know, obviously opening with Alabama gets their attention, but they know the whole <laughs> – schedule and I, I it's been great for us the size mm-hmm. of the challenge times the amount of effort you put into something is your rate of growth yeah and right. i hadn't i hadn't backed off of that with our players i've made them understand this is not going to be easy mm-hmm. so it will require more of your mental and physical efforts and they have taken that challenge to this point point. because Sorry, that's something you've kind of been harping on, focusing on that focus and effort and trying to see if you can get that out of your guys for 60 minutes. How have you seen them re, uh, respond to, to you know, the level of your expectation? I think uh, I wouldn't say anything's a slow start. I think that's always challenging early in camp because you got so many young people thinking about assignments. And I try to tell our coaches that, that a confused player will look like a non-motivated player. Mm. And so let's let's teach, let's teach, let's teach. And now we're we're getting into practice uh, eleven, practice twelve. There's a different football team, yeah. and they're meeting that effort expectation. We had a, a right guard who's in the best shape of his life, a young right guard, and I don't think I probably should say his name. And mm-hmm. he's yeah. competing to start, yeah. but on Monday lost seventeen and a half pounds of body weight working so hard mm. wow. I mean, he carried it to an nth degree we had a young freshman receiver we we're able to um we put put a system in their shoulder pads so we know how far they've run how mm-hmm. much effort they've exerted right. speeds he exceeded anything we've ever seen a player do at duke in one practice mm-hmm. um I love that about this team. Mm. And that may be the most important mm. lesson we learn is that the collective habits, 
not just an individual. We have to mm-hmm. have everybody pulling in the same direction. We're talking today, Cutcliffe, the head leader and head coach of Duke University football program. Coach, uh, again, kickoff, uh, first game of the season, obviously a team, a school that you know very, very well, obviously. Uh, and also uh, a big matchup. But I want to talk about the fact that Duke is playing in the Chick-fil-A kickoff. That that within itself, without regardless of who they playing, talk about how important that is to the program. Well, it's huge. Mm-hmm. When when the people in Atlanta approached me yeah. about this game, would you consider? I said, no, we will. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. We um, and I've had people ask me, and 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 they don't mean anything ugly about. Well, how did this happen? Why are you guys? <laughs> yeah. And I, I look mm-hmm. at them right now because we've earned this opportunity. Mm-hmm. And that's the way I look at it. This coach. program yeah. has earned this opportunity. Now you step up. Yeah. And you you got to prove it to, to the world. I have great respect, obviously, for the University of Alabama. It's yeah. my alma mater. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I have great respect and a longstanding competition with Nick Saban. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I know exactly how good they are and what they're capable of. But I want our demands in our program – I'm, we're not trying to equal their demands. We're right. trying to exceed them. Mm. And how do you know if you're getting that done if you don't play them? Uh, we played well at Clemson for a little while, but mm-hmm. we didn't play 60 minutes. That's a playoff team, national champion a year ago. We have Alabama and Notre Dame. That's three of the four teams <laughs> wow. this year. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, I don't remember A Knight's Tale. I don't know if y'all remember that movie. <laughs> yeah. They Ledger. would say, you've been weighed and measured. <laughs> That's right. Well, we, we need to stand up to the test of being <laughs> weighed and, and measured. measured. Outstanding. Or as, as you famous once famously said, Coach, Crank's not good enough. You got to be crunk to be really ready to play. <laughs> hey, 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 coach. By the way, you know what? I we use, better get crunk. Hey, hey, coach. I use crunk all the time, and my millennial over here <laughs> told me that that was so uh, like outdated. Like, she made me feel so. I said, Coach, I Crunk used the same thing. He did. He did play that after. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but you know. Okay. You all have to understand, first of all, where we're from. <laughs> tell me, Coach. Uh, tell me, Coach. Uh, and if I want to get crunk, I'm going to get crunk. That's no, all I'm talking about. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm not hating on it. Okay. But this all guy right. over here used it, and I was just like, I don't know, Reese. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. He's a little younger than me. So maybe, <laughs> he's, maybe, maybe he's stealing it, you know? <laughs> maybe. Coach, coach I, I would love to steal it from you. <laughs> we take a whole lot of stuff from you, Coach. You don't have to worry about it. We're talking with head football coach David Cutcliffe from Duke University football and coach you know we just talked about you going into your 12th season and you talked about you've earned the right to be in this chick-fil-a kickoff game uh against the university of alabama uh kicking off the season you talked about the tough schedule the six home games and what you guys are gonna have to do but i want to turn the tables just a little bit let's talk about david cutcliffe 10 years ago 12 years ago coming to durham north carolina starting with this program, understanding what it was, having a track around the field and all of the stuff that it was <laughs> yeah. and bringing it to the day right. and then tell people where, it's, where what we can look forward to moving forward. I, I'm I'm happy that you took me back a minute. Maybe I needed to, to hear that and mm-hmm. emotionally go back mm-hmm. and never, ever, ever forget why we came to Duke. It yep. was an opportunity – to take college football, college athletics to to what it should be, to complete, to the challenges of academic rigors, mm. to the challenges of building a program from the ground up, yeah. uh, and never forgetting it's about people. Um, you know, we, we're, we're born to family and we choose our people. And mm. one of the great things about our business in football is we recruit and we hire folks. Mm-hmm. Um, I need to celebrate the beginning. I need to celebrate all of the players and all of the coaches that have been with us. And that's what's being put on display in Atlanta. Mm. So we're not going alone. Right. We're right. going to display yeah. a lot of people mm-hmm. down there. And I appreciate you bringing, yeah. bringing that up. And, and I, I think that when you do the little things right and you continue to do that, that's where growth lives. And we've got to make sure that no one gets comfortable. That's the danger. Yeah. Mm. So move forward, right? That's right. And we're definitely moving forward again. Don't forget this Saturday, the August 17th, uh, that's Meet the Blue Devil uh, a Day and uh, Movie Night. And, of course, 
Again, that's uh, be free parking, free admission. A lot of things going on. Coach mentioned you can go to GoDuke.com, meet the, uh, the Blue Devils. And during the season, the single single game tickets uh, start right now only at ten ten dollars. You can get a season ticket uh, for only eighty eight dollars for all six games. Free parking and Wi Fi on game day. That's oh, that's good. big. Uh, that's that Wi Fi. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> we gotta post. We gotta post for, that we're here for for ten dollars for eighty eight for six games. Think about look that. at the the games. Yep. If you're a football fan, yep. not not football. a fan of any of our institutions, mm-hmm. but just a football fan, or if you're a family person that wants to have a good time on a weekend, yeah. it's a great environment. It's a safe environment, which everybody's looking for today. Mm-hmm. And it's going to exactly be entertaining. Right. It's college athletics. Yeah. It's bands and cheerleaders and you know That's all of the about. concessions and the quality of the place <laughs> itself. And then take a walk. Through Duke's campus, there go to go. Duke Gardens. I mean, a beautiful that's a, campus. It yeah. is. It's a great opportunity for a, for a great weekend. Awesome. Uh, again, you can go to goduke.com slash football ticks or 919 681 B L U E. Blue. Yeah. L- last question, Coach. We want to let you get out of here. Uh, I, I just want to mention one thing. Coach, what is it about you and coaching quarterbacks? Because, full disclosure, I've been. I've been that dude in the studio uh, just bragging and, and talking uh, Daniel Jones' name. The guys give him the heart. Uh, they give him a the pushback on that, but we saw what happened just for a little uh, last week. What is it about you and quarterbacks, Coach? You know, I, I'm, I don't know that I could put a finger on it other than um, you, you don't coach people well without real relationships, and any real relationship mm-hmm. starts with trust. Yeah. And you can't violate that trust. Coaching a quarterback, I would tell young quarterback coaches, don't ever say anything that's going to be different the next time you say it. Mm-hmm. You start twisting the truth or Ooh. you lose a quarterback. It takes mm-hmm. complete trust to coach one. And then I think just years of experience tell me what to look for. Mm-hmm. And um, you don't coach them all exactly the same but you you want to talk about attention to detail? Yeah. Uh, you you build it from the ground up, and you coach a quarterback from the neck up, mm. and then the neck down. The neck down meaning the mechanics take ten thousand times of quality repetition. Yeah. Because once you really start coaching this, yeah. their eyes and I coach eyes a lot. <laughs> wow. wow. Mm. So from there, if I'm not thinking about my mechanics, which you can't play in the game, yeah. then those mechanics better stay great. Right. And you wow. can't lose it. So it's a constant of consistency. And uh, I think I heard uh, the, the great Blanton Collier do a clinic one time, and mm-hmm. you all have to all Google who Blanton Collier is. <laughs> yeah. <I'm not> <laughs> um, but about how to coach eyes of a football player. And so I think that, that a lot of people think, you know, and it all is feet and this and that, but – you, you, even I coach our defensive linemen and our defensive and offensive coaches to make sure you know where their eyes are and your mm-hmm. eyes are bringing in everything to you. So with quarterbacks, it's really critical. And mm-hmm. the ones that we've had that have been great through the years yes. embrace that. Wow. Wow. Quick talk with head football wow. coach David That's Cutcliffe good. of Duke football, Duke, uh, Duke University football. And coach, closing it out on the community right here in Durham. Oh, yeah. You've been out, had an opportunity to play, um, have bring uh, North Carolina Central in every year and play. This year, you guys are playing North Carolina A&T State University mm-hmm. from Greensboro. A lot of Aggies here locally, yeah. a lot of people here locally. Talk about why it is that you make sure that you support and you get an opportunity to put these type schools on the program, on the map each and every year. Well, it's it started back when I when I came and the Durham community, I think there was some hurt mm-hmm. uh, that existed, and uh, I got with Mose Ryan at yep. Ryzen and I said, you know, we need to to be playing. Uh, it's a great opportunity for both institutions and the community, and then it's it's got to ultimately. I knew it had to grow bigger than than that. There are a lot of people, as you said, that are Aggie fans and. Well, they've done a terrific oh, job. Oh, they're, yes. really, they're really, really bad timing for me. I'm really, 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 it goes really, really good. good. Um, yeah. But um, I, I just think it's good. And, and what better era mm-hmm. than to be doing this than right now? That's right. Um, and we'll be end up playing Central again. And, That's right. Uh, but, you know, I just think it's a great opportunity to celebrate um, 
what they've done at both of those institutions yes. and maybe somebody else will but i'd really rather keep it in state to mm-hmm. be yeah. honest with you well uh, i mean right it now. just it means so much to a community like the triangle i feel like you know there's a great honor in saying that you it's very intentional and this isn't something that just happened or got on the schedule right yeah i i think that one of the things you just said and i try to teach our players you have to live intentionally mm-hmm. where you remember tom hanks and that feather Oh, you know, yeah. floating around yeah. as far as young. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's okay. Mm-hmm. You know, there is some destiny on this earth, but wow. we have to have intention, intention to make things happen right. I'm loving and it. if we just sit back and count on that feather to land in the right place, mm-hmm. I don't think it very often does. Wow. Yeah. Outstanding. Coach, I want to personally thank you yeah. for all of your support um, for us. Yeah, you You've been here for us from day one. We appreciate you. So all. we love you. I you love know, it. Yeah. I look forward to it. You know, <laughs> here we go again. Let's right? do it. Let's do it again. Thank do it you again. guys. Appreciate Thank it, Coach. You. All right.